Live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. Thanks for joining us. Pennsylvania's race for governor has gone national. Yeah, Republican candidate Doug Mastriano was the talk of the political talk shows this weekend after a photo surfaced of him dressed as a Confederate soldier. Dennis Owens joins us with our top story. Dennis. Well, ladies, Reuters unearthed that photo right there, which has touched off a war of words that is decidedly uncivil. Doug Mastriano wearing gray has many people seeing red. And Democrats, like Lieutenant Governor candidate Austin Davis, on the assault. Uh, the Confederacy fought because they did not want to abolish slavery. By him wearing that uniform, it's deeply offensive to folks who look like me, quite frankly. Backstory this photo was taken in 2014 when Mastriano was on the faculty at the Army War College in Carlisle. Faculty was told they could dress up as historical figures. Some did, some didn't. Mastriano was the only one to choose a Confederate uniform. In a statement, the War College said that in 2020, a team was created to assess all images that were being displayed at the school for appropriateness. That statement concluded the faculty photo did not get the team's attention. The photo has since been removed because it does not meet Army War College values. Mastriano has not responded to requests for comment. On Twitter, his campaign attorney, Jenna Ellis, called it a media meltdown that Mastriano apparently once posed as a Civil War historical figure for a photo and, question mark, he has a PhD in history. The left wants us to erase history. Mastriano wants us to learn from it. It is worth noting that Mastriano's state Senate district includes Gettysburg, which welcomes thousands of reenactors wearing both blue and gray every year. Stores in town sell Union and Confederate items. We are holding him to account to the things that he has done and said, and he refuses to answer questions for. Colonel Doug Mastriano was at the War College when he retired from the military in 2017 after a 30-year career. Dennis, thanks so much.